Hey guys, are you excited to see what we're gonna be making? This little dude is my creation. And we are going to have so much fun learning about doo -doo -doo -doo, eco art. What's eco art? Don't know, you'll have to watch to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. It is another week of Artists in Time and today we are going to be talking about something that involves some old stuff we have laying around the house. So we have, what's this? Toilet paper tube. We have some styrofoam that came out of packaging and we all probably have some styrofoam laying around from getting our all of our stuff delivered to our houses because we have to stay at home. So I want you to take some of your styrofoam and take some of your toilet paper tubes and collect them. And then we are going to be talking about something called eco art. So eco art is a combination of eco friendly and art. What is it when we say eco art? What does that mean? What are we talking about when we say eco art or eco friendly? What do you think that means? When you're being eco friendly, how do you act? Yes, so we act kind to the environment. So when you have some trash, like if I had, if I have this, am I just gonna throw it outside like that and just leave it outside? No. Eco-friendly means that since this is plastic, I would probably try my hardest to make sure that I could recycle this. Or if I can't recycle it, put it in the right trash can that I need to. That's called being eco-friendly, that we care about the environment and the earth. And artists who are eco-friendly make artwork about the environment and keeping the environment safe and clean and nice and tidy. And they only make artwork about that so people remember to be nice to the environment and not to litter and not to be mean to the earth. So I'm gonna show pictures of artists who make either artwork outside or they make artwork out of trash. And when artists make artwork out of trash, it's not called trash art. Sometimes you could call it that, but artists like to transform something. So what transform means is we are going to transform this toilet paper tube into something beautiful and something that you wouldn't even know that it used to be a toilet paper tube. That's called transforming something. So we're gonna be do like all of these artists that you've seen on the screen, we're gonna do artwork like that and we're going to transform our trash into beautiful works of art so we can inspire other people to do the same thing and inspiring do you know what that word means yeah so to inspire means to make other people want to do the same thing that you do so by making this toilet paper tube beautiful and making this styrofoam beautiful we're gonna inspire other people to be environmentally friendly or eco-friendly to care about the earth and not to litter and to throw things away the way you're supposed to. So for our project, you can really do whatever you want with your toilet paper tube or styrofoam. You can transform them however you want. You can kind of play with them a little bit and see like, hmm, how can the toilet paper tube and start, how can these interact? Maybe we can do something like rolling it back and forth. Maybe we can paint it with toilet paper tube and roll the paper to tube down the styrofoam. Maybe we can make circle prints with the toilet paper tube. We could dip this into paint and we could 
um, stamp the toilet paper tube all around, which we might do later. I might do that later. But right now, I'm going to ask that, um, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm adding yarn to my project. You can add whatever you want to your project, but um, we're transforming our trash into beautiful pieces of art like eco artists do. So I'm going to get something pokey, like a pencil or a paintbrush, and I'm gonna start poking holes into my styrofoam. So see how I poked a hole all the way through, see? I'm gonna do that kind of randomly throughout my styrofoam. And then I'm going to get some yarn and I'm going to poke some yarn through one of those holes. Let's see if I can do it. Now for the yarn to go through, and I'm gonna thread my yarn through the styrofoam all the way down. And then I'm gonna take some paint and I'm gonna dip this into paint and I'm gonna stamp circles all the way around. I can also get my paintbrush and paint, 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 paint on my styrofoam. Maybe I wanna paint in, do you see all these circles that the styrofoam is made up of? Maybe after I thread this into different shapes, maybe I'm gonna go in and paint all these little circles. How cool would it be if all these little circles were painted a different color? That would be pretty cool. For my toilet paper tube, I'm gonna try and turn it into something completely different. So I'm going to fold down one side and I'm going to fold down another side. And that kind of makes it look like it has ears a little bit. Then I'm gonna take some scissors and ask for help from your grown up at home. I'm gonna poke a hole in my toilet paper tube. There we go. And I am going to make a little nose eh, or something. There we go. A little beak. Kind of looks like a beak. If I can show you. Looks like a mouth at least. So then, if I had paint, I would paint it. But I'm gonna add an eye here and an eye here. And then you can decorate your little toilet paper tube and make a little puppet. Hi, I'm some kind of weird bird. Parker needs to decorate me so I look cuter than this. Maybe you can make a cuter little puppet animal. Who knows? Another thing you could do with your toilet paper tube and styrofoam is make a row of treats. You would need several toilet paper tubes. You would need several toilet paper tubes. And this, the tops of the tree, is just a plastic bag. So you can crumble up your plastic bag, stuff it in the top of your toilet paper tube, paint the tops of the plastic bag, paint that green, and then glue all of your trees to your star from and paint your styrofoam green for grass. Just another idea. I really wanna see what you come up with though. You could really turn all of this stuff into anything. Let's see what you can think of. But I wanna see your eco art when you're done. What did you transform your toilet paper tube into? What did you transform your styrofoam sheet into? 
I will post my finished product if you post your finished product. All right, guys. I will see you later. Bye.